Hi guys, this is the fourth time trying to go live, so let's, let's see if it's gonna work. I'm just gonna wait and say nothing until a few of you come back. I connected from my phone this time, so hopefully it works. Let me send a message to my students to come back. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna work this time. Anyone is here? Let me know. Hi, Sanamad. <laughs> is it working this time Rachel how are you can you hear me good this time it still says ex excellent connection so yeah sounds like it's okay I'll wait a couple of seconds as well just for a few people to arrive marhaba Osama So, uh, yalla, let's begin. I was saying, uh, okay, by the time everyone comes back, I was saying about the courses that are starting from September 5 to December 4. I miss doing courses online. Uh, thank you, Rosie, because ever since the 30-day challenge courses, I stopped for a while, and uh, because COVID is finished, thank God, and everyone is back to life, so doing every day at the same time is a little bit challenging, so I'm doing just twice a week courses, every Monday and every Wednesday, we meet for one hour and 15 minutes, and uh, yeah, uh we do also study i'm just getting from confused because of the message uh, youtube is showing me okay so let me just make some movements maybe it works so i was saying about the courses and um, let me know if anything goes wrong because i'm still getting error messages even if i'm connected from uh, from the phone. Hi, Alush. So basically, we're going to meet twice a week and we will do study sessions on Saturdays. People meet, ask questions, um, practice together, speak together. So it's a great opportunity to also see people who are, you know, studying the same thing and they are like minded. So always, please, guys, leave a message just so I know if I'm being heard or not because I'm getting error messages, okay? Um, I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's making me a bit nervous. Show sure, guys, should we do it? Should we try or not? Okay, I think it's back now. <sighs> Hi, Muhammad. Okay, now it says it's excellent. Perfect. Okay, so I thought today we can do a lesson um, uh, to honor George Rasse. George Rasse is our very loved Lebanese singer who passed away last week, and we love him so much. He's still so young and bubbly and full of life. And and if you watch his interviews, he is someone who is like positive about life, saying, I love life. I love life during the day. I love life at night. And uh, sadly, he passed away in a car crash that was really, really, really tragic. And the car crash was a bit too irresponsible because there were blocks of big stones in the middle of the street no lights whatsoever like pitch dark in the streets no signals nothing indicating that there's something in the middle of a highway so he he crashed with his friend and they passed away so i hope he will be in peace and uh, it's so 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 sad because also i was saying a moment ago like it reminds me of when we were so young we used to go to a bar and he was at the peak of his fame he used to go to that bar sing karaoke and uh, yeah it's so sad when people like that die at such a young age as, as such bubbly and nice people basically but such is life so i'm gonna play the song that is that made him the most famous at that time it's quite a it's quite an old song but here he's singing it uh, recently like i chose a live song him singing live so 
we could also watch him it was exactly one week ago like now he was doing still a concert and then after the concert he came back and passed away so i'm gonna play the song on the side here and i'll put the lyrics as well so we could just uh, hear it once and then uh, we can break it down as i always do okay and let me know if you guys are actually hearing the song as well you should be able to hear it but just in case okay yeah it's called intal <laughs> hub just give me a sign a, a thumb up or something if you're hearing it i'll pause it for a second just give me a thumb up if you can hear it. Shu, can you hear it? Can you just let me know if you can hear it or not? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll play it. Thank you. حنيني عمري ايامي وسنيني بس يضحك لي يا حبيبي ضحكي وحدي بتكفيني كلمي او بسمي وتنهيدي قدم لك روحي على عيدي شدد روحي بروح جديدي لحظة موت لوحيني Okay, guys, let me check once more if everything is good with the, with you, the sound, everything. Okay, thank you. Yalla, let's let's hear it once more. This time I'm going to keep the lyrics open both in Arabic and English. And then I can pause after every a few phrases. Okay, yalla. حنيني عمري ايامي وسنيني 
بس يضحك لي يا حبيبي ضحكي وحدي بتكفيني Okay, I will pause it for now. So he said, خد حياتي. But in the song, he's saying خد. Possibly because in songs, we just have to uh, kind of um, uh, sometimes omit vowels, sometimes change the way we pronounce a vowel just for musical purposes. In uh, Egyptian Arabic, they say خد. But in Lebanese Arabic, we don't say خد. We say خود. خود يعني take. خود. That's why here I put one O. In fact, I should maybe put two O's. خود. Okay? So the imperative form of verb to take in Arabic is خود. And if it's feminine, it's خدي. خود. خدي. Okay? So خود. خدي. And in the plural, it's خدو. So if I want to say to someone, take my life, I say خود. مش خود in Lebanese. So خود حياتي. Notice a lot of times in the songs, always they end up pronouncing the A, the Lebanese A, as a E, because that's how they pronounce it in Arabic. So maybe for musical reasons, again, they end up pronouncing it E. But in the Lebanese dialect, if I want to say my life, I say Hayate as a E. So Khod Hayate. In the song, he said Hayati. And a lot of times that Elif that's pronounced as a E is also pronounced as a A. Only in the songs. So in Lebanon, we don't say Hayati. Okay? In other dialects, they say in uh, Syria, in Jordan, possibly in Egypt. But in Lebanon, we tend to say a lot of that A sound. And that's because of the influence of, of Syriac and Aramaic. So we say Hayati. But here he's saying Hayati. Okay? So Khod Hayati. Take my life. Okay? So, خود حياتي or خود حياتي and خود حنين حنين uh, How can I say like my affection? Okay, it can mean nostalgia. Okay, but in the Lebanese dialect, again, when I want to say uh, affection, we say حنين with an alif. But also in standard Arabic, they say that with an alif حنان. But in Lebanese, we pronounce it حنين with an a. But here he's using حنين which usually means nostalgia, but kind of he's using them interchangeably, okay? I hope it's clear. So the word hanin usually means nostalgia, and hanin with an alif means affection, but kind of he's using them interchangeably to mean affection. So take my life, take my affection. خد حياتي, خد حنيني. Okay, so far, yalla, give me okay thumbs up just so I know everything is going great. Okay, because sometimes it's saying excellent connection, sometimes it's saying poor connection, so I'm not sure how it's going. I hope it's going good. So, عمري, عمري يعني my life, again, and uh, kind of my lifespan as well. عمر can also mean age, so take my life, خد حياتي, خد حنيني, عمري, my life, again, Iyami. Again, in the song he's saying Iyami, but in Lebanese we say Iyami, my days. So my life, عمري, Iyami. I'm going to continue pronouncing it in the Lebanese way because this is a Lebanese lesson and it's a Lebanese song, but only in songs we end up pronouncing it the A as a A. Okay? عمري, Iyami, وسنيني. Sneen, يعني years. Sneeni, يعني my years, but in Lebanese we would pronounce it Sneeni, my my years. So, typical Lebanese way. خود حياتي خود حنيني عمري ايامي وسنيني Okay, so take my life, take my affection, my life again, my days and my years. Okay, so take all of these, but like in return, بس تحكلي only laugh for me. تحك means laugh or smile. Thakli, smile for me, which means smile to me. Bas thakli, but only smile to me, okay? But here I wrote a thakli because I uh, copy-pasted the lyrics from somewhere, but in the Lebanese dialect, we will not pronounce the alif, thakli, okay? Bas thakli, okay? And if it's a girl, you say thakili, you add the e, thakili. بس تحكلي just laugh for me بس تحكلي يا حبيبي my love بس تحكلي يا حبيبي ضحكي وحدي ضحكي is a laugh or a smile a laugh a smile 
Guys, say out loud with me, okay? All the time say out loud. It's not enough just to listen. Yeah, I'm listening. No. Say out loud so that you can learn it. Ideally, write them down so you can kind of physiologically learn things and internalize them better, okay? ضحكة يعني a smile or a laugh. ضحكة وحدة. وحدة يعني one smile. We used a feminine number وحدة. Why? Because ضحكة is feminine. We can't say ضحكة واحد. We have to say ضحكة وحدة. ضحكة وحدة. One smile or one laugh. بتكفينة. بتكفينة. بتكفي means she is enough. بتكفينة she is enough for me. Why am I saying she is enough? It means it is enough. Why? Because a smile is a feminine word. So he's saying one smile it is enough for me, which means one smile is enough for me. Okay? ضحكة واحدة بتكفينة. Let me check. Sure, everything is okay? Okay. يلا. I'm going to repeat these. Say it with me out loud. خود حياتي خود حنيني عمري my life or my age or my lifespan ايامي my days وسنيني and my years بس تحكلي notice I'm not saying بس تحكلي بس تحكلي with the liaison بس تحكلي only laugh for me just laugh that's enough for me بس تحكلي يا حبيبي my love ضحكة واحدة one smile ضحكة واحدة بتكفيني is enough for me okay يلا let's continue and then he says بكلمة واحدة كلمة is a word بكلمة means with one word but a lot of times that be with a كسرة when we're speaking we pronounce it with a spoon and it becomes بكلمة ب بكلمة بكلمة means with one word بكلمة بكلمة but I'm pronouncing it بكلمة بكلمة أو or بسمة بسمة يعني a smile بكلمة with a word أو بسمة or with a smile و تنهيدة تنهيدة is a sigh or a moan تنهيدة بكلمة أو بسمة وتنهيدة with a word or a smile and a sigh or a moon okay just with these immediately what do I do when I have these or when I see these بقدم لك بقدم it means um, I present to you or I give you بقدم بقدم لك means for you which means I give for you بقدم I give or I present بقدم لك I give you or I present to you here it means I give you okay بقدم لك روحي روح يعني soul روحي يعني my soul guys are you saying out loud with me let me know بقدم لك روحي and who's writing it? Let me know who's writing. بقدم لك روحي. I give you my soul. Okay? And when I'm speaking, let's say, to my boyfriend or something, I want to say to him, I give you my soul. I don't usually say بقدم لك. It's a little bit like more formal or in the song or more poetic. I would say بعطيك. Okay? بعطيك روحي. Or بقدم لك روحي. بقدم لك روحي على means on. It also says poor connection. I hope it will get better now. So, بقدم لك روحي على إيدي. Literally, على means on. إيد means hand. And إيدي means my hand. بقدم لك روحي على إيدي. I present my soul to you or for you على إيد on my hand. بقدم لك روحي على إيدي and then he says جدد روحي جدد it's the imperative form of the verb renew uh, can you hear me good because it says poor here so I just want to double check you can hear me well please let me know جدد روحي renew my soul جدد renew Okay, for example, if I want to say I want to renew something, I say بدي, I want to بدي جدد بدي جدد So جدد 
روحي very good Rachel جدد روحي renew my soul بروح بروح you see I'm not saying بروح with a soul I'm saying بروح بروح with a soul روح is a soul and بروح is with a soul but we're pronouncing it with a ب بروح جديدة a new soul the word روح doesn't have a tema مربوطة but it's feminine that's why we're using جديدة بالمؤنث ب feminine جديدة روح جديدة a new soul جدد روحي renew my soul بروح جديدة with a new soul بلحظة say with me out loud بلحظة لحظة is a second or a moment or a minute بلحظة means in a second or within a second بلحظة in a second موتني موت يعني كل موتني يعني كلمي اوكي بلحظة موتني in a second كلمي or و and sorry and و حيني I will remove the alif because we don't pronounce it in Lebanese Arabic حيني means bring me back to life okay موتني kill me وحيني bring me back to life so in a second kill me and bring me back to life okay very poetic بلحظة موتني وحيني in a second kill me and bring me back to life حيني okay and then we will go back to and then we will hear the main part okay so I'm gonna repeat until here play it try to sing it with me and then we do the refrain part okay yalla haram look how smiley he is and how cute we say in Arabic when somebody young dies we say di'an al-shabib yani uh, what a wasted youth ya di'an al-shabib yalla It's sad because it reminds me, it's almost from my generation, a, few, a couple of years older maybe or something. Yeah, let's sing with me. Okay, yall, let's do the refrain part because this is the part where he repeats many times in the song. See, he says, Intal hub, you are the love. Notice how even if it's a guy singing, they always sing most of the times, not always to a guy in the masculine form, but they even if they're singing to a girl. Okay. So Intal hub, you are the love. Intal hub li khallani. Okay. Li is kind of like the abbreviation of yalli, which means which? You are the love, which or that. Khallani in the Lebanese dialect, we will pronounce it more. Khallene. The A. The A and the A. The Alif is a A and the Ye is a A. Both exactly the same sound. Khalla means it let me. Khallani, it let me. You are the love that let me. Let me what? Let's see. Anta al hub li khallani. You are the love that let me. Khallani aish. Let me live. You are the love that let me live, which means kind of like made me live or allowed me to live. Okay? So, انت الحب اللي خلاني with all liaisons. انت الحب اللي خلاني. عيش خلاني عيش. It let me live. Let's see where it let him live. عيش بكون. كون يعني universe. عيش بكون بدني دني means world دني تاني okay in the Lebanese dialect I will I will pronounce it more دني تاني okay oh عيش بكون 
Bdinyetenye, not tanye, okay? But here in the song, he says, Again, as I said, in the songs, they tend to pronounce the alif as the a instead of a like we do in the Lebanese dialect. It's a Lebanese song, but in the songs, they do this. So, it let me live in a, in a world, in a universe, in another world. And then he says, My worry. Shuhamme, literally, what's my worry? Which means, why would I care? Or, um, it's, it, uh, why would I care? Why would I worry about? Shuhamme, I don't care, basically. Shuhamme, I don't care if العالم, the world, as in people, the world, العالم, ينساني. In the Lebanese accent, we will say yinsane. Yinsa is to forget. Yinsane or yinsane means to forget me. Why would I care? I don't care if the world forget me, if the whole world forgets me. Shuham alam yinsane. U inta bas. And you only, and only you, bas inta. Tfakir, think, tfakir, fiye. Think of me. I don't care if the whole world doesn't uh, remember me and forgets me as long as you only rem uh, think of me. شو همي يلا say with me out loud. شو همي العالم ينساني وانت بس تفكر فيي and you only think of me. Okay, let's repeat here. انت الحب انت الحب اللي خلاني انت الحب اللي خلاني خلاني عيش عيش بكون in a world عيش بكون universe بدني تاني in another world عيش بكون بدني تاني شو هم العالم ينساني why would I care if the whole world forgets me وانت بس and you only تفكر فيي and you only think of me and then he says قرب 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 come close قرب and if it's a girl, you say Arbe, Arbe, Arbe. Come close. Arbe, ta. Ta means so that or in order to or to. Arbe, ta, dummak. Dum means I hug. Dum. Dummak means I hug you. Arbe, ta, dummak. Come close so that I hug you. Arbe, ta, dummak. B means in. عيون eyes عيوني my eyes come close so that I hug you with my eyes how cute is that قرب تضمك بعيوني and تسمع it's usually بتسمع you hear بتسمع but here he didn't say بتسمع because here after تا ضمك we the تا also belongs to tisma, so that you hear, okay? Come close so that I hug you in my eyes and so that you hear. So after ta, we have to drop the b. Ta tisma, for example, so that you hear, okay? Arrib ta dummak ba'yoon. Come close so that I hug you with my eyes. You like it? You like the song? Arrib ta dummak ba'yooni. Tisma. Kilmati, he says in the song, but in Lebanese we will say Kilmati, my words. Tisma Kilmati, Il Hanuni, the affectionate. Hanuni, affectionate. Kilmati, Il Hanuni, my affectionate, warm words. Tisma Kilmati, Il Hanuni, so that you hear, come close, so that you hear my affectionate words or my warm words. Lawla. لولا بحبك لولا بحبك I actually I can remove the b here and it's حبك لولا حبك which means without your love like kind of like more than without it's not just without because without is بلا or بدون this one is more like had it not been for your love okay لولا means had it not been for لولا okay that's a nice word to know لولا حبك had it not been for your love, لولا حبك, your love, حب means love, حبك, your love, جن, 
جنوني. This one is a nice expression. Memorize it. جن جنوني. I went crazy. You know what, what you're literally saying? You're saying جن means it went crazy. جنوني means my craziness. My craziness went crazy. Okay? Which means I went crazy. جن جنوني. Next time you go crazy about something, you say, I went crazy. You say, what do you say? Write it down. جن جنوني. I went crazy. So, لو لحبك. Had it not been for your love or to your love, I would have gone crazy. جنونة. Okay. And then he says, جنونة, my craziness. جنونة, my craziness. منو is not. جنونة, منو. My craziness is not. كتير, a lot. علي. علي means on me. When you say منو كتير علي, it's not a lot on me or it's not a lot for me, which means I deserve more than that, basically. It's not a lot for me. I deserve more than that, okay? So if somebody, you give a gift to someone and uh, they say, thank you, you you will say, like, it's you deserve more. You can say, man كتير علي, okay? Sometimes we say to someone, كتير عليك, it's a lot for you, which means, like, you don't even deserve that. You deserve less than that. But when he says, man كتير علي, it means, it's okay. I don't mind if I go crazy for you, basically. جنوني, man كتير علي. Is it clear? Let me know. Yalla, I'm going to check if anyone has questions, so we repeat this part. And maybe tomorrow we can continue the, the second first part, okay? Um, if you have questions, can you retype them? Because, so I can check them now. Uh, so this is a question. I you can write them the way you want. You can write dinye with an alif that's written with an alif in standard Arabic. In Lebanese we pronounce it dinye. That's why I can write it ye and ye dinye. So we always write phonetically the way we hear something. Okay. So yalla, let me know if you have questions. Meanwhile, I'm gonna repeat. Shall we read it once more the last part and then we can do the first song? Okay. Yalla. Uh, so it's انت الحب باللي خلاني say out loud with me عيش بكون بدني تاني شو هم العالم ينساني وانت بس تفكر فيي قرب تضمك بعيوني تسمع كلماتي الحنوني لو لحبك جن جنوني جنوني منو كتير علي Okay? يلا, let's repeat it. Who likes this song and who finds it mm, normal? I really like it, especially now that it, you know, you just feel sad about something. And, yeah. يلا, shall we repeat? Before I repeat, anyone has a question? Tell me, do you like it? Yeah, I love it too. Okay, yalla, khalluna nbanish. Rahat play, okay? Yalla, sing out loud. Look at that cute face. the next part let's repeat one more and maybe tomorrow i can you okay yalla sing sing with me khud hayati khud 
حنيني عمر ايامي وسنيني بس يضحك لي يا حبيبي ضحكي وحدي بتكفيني كلمه او بسمه وتنهيدي قدم لك روحي على ايدي فيري لو اكايد لحظه مو I like here, the music part. Actually, when we used to go to that place, we used to go every Sunday to a karaoke night and sing. And I had a boyfriend who used to be so madly in love and he used to sing this song for me as well. The best days of life, really. Let's hear the next part and tomorrow we do it. <laughs> شو جايز يا there is a rule for the liaison the liaison is whenever there is an l the always think of it as if it's part of the previous word okay for example انت الحب you can say انت الحب okay and the word انت finishes with a vowel whenever it's finishing with a vowel you immediately pronounce the l انت الحب okay uh, but when the word is not finishing with a vowel with a consonant you pronounce il for example the house of بيت ال we say بيت ال بيت ال clear yes Allah يرحمه God be with God rest his soul and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope there will be no more sad events that happen in life it's hard, but I hope it becomes less and less. Yalla, guys. Anything else? But kun shi minne, yalla, ana rahro. Do you need anything? Bye. See you maybe tomorrow. And remember, there are courses beginning next week from September 5 to December 4. Come join me every Monday, Wednesday for lessons and Saturdays for study sessions. Okay, if you need more information, I'm going to leave my email address under this video and the form for you to fill. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, Rosie. Bye.